Hello everyone, Nick from Strewsoft here, back with yet again another tip of the week. So this week we're going to be looking at 3D solids on shop drawing, always up to date, automatically updating. What is a 3D solid? Well, you can see it right here on the screen. It's a 3D view of the element. In our case, we always do this an isometric view automatically, so you can see what's going on, what is on which side and so on and so forth. So how do we get the 3D models to always come on the shop drawings and always be up to date? Well, it's a simple thing. And let me show you in this week's tip. So I'm going to look at my other screen here. And as I usually say, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I have a project, one panel here. If I go into my project properties, and we go to drawings. In here by drawings, there's a ton, hundreds of settings. The one we're looking for is automatic update of view eight, the solid. No, or only the element, only the element and cast in items, or element, cast in items, and reinforcement. So I'm gonna select element cast in materials and reinforcement, hit OK. I'm going to go in and open my drawing here. And for this element, I don't have a drawing created yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one. Create shop drawings for the wall. And now I'm selecting a template. My template here is wall panel layout. So in your case, you want to make sure that your template have the view for the 3D solids. I'll explain a little bit when we get into it for those of you completely new to impact. But if you have it, then, well, you don't really have to do anything more than create the drawing. So let's open up the drawing here. And basically, we should have everything we asked for now. So here's our basic drawing with all the information needed. Down here is actually the 3D solid. If we go in and we look at the actual layout of the drawing, we can see, <clears throat> well, this is a, a nice, easy to understand one where we have the element itself. We have bars going through uh, for the element, for the window, for the door. The rules set for the bars strengthening the windows at the top as well, describing how they made and even how it built with bars going through all the way, filling out meshes and everything here. That is the 3D solid that we said, please create it. So looking at something like this, why isn't it just always automatically on the drawing? Well, one reason is you decide what's on the drawing. First of all, you have the viewport here which you can control inside your viewports in your in your layouts. This, of course, maybe for another tip of the week or a webinar, how to actually set this up, but it doesn't take long and you can quickly set it up. As well as you want it to be in the model, actually, uh, the drawing views here. So if you need any help with that, it's true soft the support team always ready. If you want to know more about it, give us a call as well. No problem there. So why don't we just always have it? Well, one thing is the more you have on the drawing, the longer it's going to take. So having a drawing without the 3D solid showing, uh, it might take me one second to create a drawing like this. Having it on, maybe make it take two seconds. So it's a weighing thing of do you need it or don't you need it? Because if you create 100 drawings, there's a difference if it takes between 100 seconds or if it takes 200 seconds. And if you don't need it, you don't need it. But 200 seconds to me is still almost not even enough time to get a cup of coffee. So uh, that's great for me still. So basically, guys, that's it. It's super easy. If I change anything in the model, move the windows, add in other items, it's going to update the solid as well with everything else, keeping everything nice, clean, up to date and not missing anything here, not having to push any buttons. So that's it for this short tip here. So see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.